so today I feel like I'm back with Vlogmas. I'm gonna get straight back into it. The weekend was a bit funny, like I just didn't, um, I didn't really vlog that much purely because I wasn't really doing much. I just had a super chilled weekend. It was lovely, really, really nice. Um, but just not a lot to actually film. So I do apologize if the vlogs have been boring the last couple. But, like I said, I'm back. This week I think is going to be so exciting. It's like the build up to Christmas and I just can't wait. Today I have got lots of errands to run. It's my last full day in London because I'm going back home tomorrow. Um, I've got a car being delivered tomorrow and I'm gonna drive back. My mum's gonna come up and drive down with me because she doesn't trust me driving on my own mums. <laughs> so today is my last full day here and I've just got loads of things to do. I need to still tidy up my lounge when I open my PO box. Like seriously what have I been doing? Why haven't I done that yet? But also things like uh, I need to go to the post office to pick up about five presents that have um, tried to be delivered here and they've gone back to the post office so I need to go do that. And I'm about to go to the gym and obviously boring stuff like I've got so many emails to catch up on and speak to my managers and things like that and I think that's about it oh and I need to go to Selfridges at some point oh I'm hoping Selfridges is open late tonight so that I can go a bit later I want to get everything else out the way and then if I have time I'll go to Selfridges so yeah that is my day <laughs> just on my way back home from the gym I only spent about 35 40 minutes in the gym and I try and do about an hour every time but today I just did a bit of core work and because I've got so much to do today I just um, didn't really have enough time to spend any longer than 30 minutes also my skin feels so bad today I went out for a few drinks last night and stupidly got home and didn't take my makeup off and I never ever do that because I hate it it's bad don't do that it makes the skin awful um, so now oh, it just feels like really gross and like I've obviously cleansed my skin this morning but it just does not feel great. Okay I've basically sorted out the lounge now. Finally it took me so much longer than I thought it would. These two sacks here are full of loads of presents that I got in my PO box but they're just things that I know I'm not going to use and I don't need. Um, so what I'm going to do is take them back to Brighton and I'm actually going to be giving them to charity. Um, there are just a few like gifts and stuff in there that I need to take back for home as well that I've actually bought. Um, this is all of my recycling. <laughs> There's actually loads there. So I need to go and take that out quickly now before the bin men get here. I don't think I've actually explained what I'm doing this Christmas. On the 23rd I'm going to obviously be in Brighton so in the morning I'm going to go down to one of the children's hospitals and I'm doing it with the Rocking Horse charity down there and it's basically um, the hospital is going to have some really sick children that have to be there over Christmas and I had this idea that I want to go down and give them some presents and I think especially because I get sent so much stuff that you guys see when I open my PO box, I do have just an overwhelming amount. So I obviously can't keep all of that to myself and uh, throughout the year I give that to charity anyway, but I thought it would be really nice to actually go down and give it to them myself. So I'm going to be doing that on the 23rd. So that's why I've kind of put loads of presents and stuff into these sacks and I'm gonna take them back to Brighton tomorrow. So, God, my car is going to be so full. I don't know how I'm going to take it all back. And my mum's coming as well, so <laughs> that's one less seat for space for presents. But at the moment, I've just got these two sacks, and that's not even, you know, all of my stuff that I need to take back. Um, but yeah, that should be really good. I've never done anything like that, and I think it'll be eye-opening and just like a nice gesture to do, hopefully. So yeah, that'll be good. Right, I need to go and take this recycling down quickly before the bin men come. I feel like I've gone for a really bold makeup look today and I don't really know why, but it's new products and I always go a bit crazy when I get new products. Oh, this is so dirty. It's the Giorgio Armani, hmm, what is it? Night Light. It's a palette for your face and your eyes and I don't know what that says. So I've got my washing hanging up. What does that even say? Can anyone read that? Um, but let me just open this for you, one-handed. Oh, uh, okay, there we go. There are the eyeshadows and stuff, and then underneath, we've got like the face stuff. And I didn't actually use that top powder, I just used the concealers at the bottom. 
thought it was really cute. So I've got that on today. And then also my lips is the Illamasqua anti matter <laughs> lipstick called Spectra. And it's this gorgeous colour. I actually showed this in my P.O. Box opening video, Vlogmas video. And my hair. <sighs> Don't even go there. <laughs> what is going on? I just washed it and I'm just going to leave it to dry. It just looks absolutely crazy. I look like a scarecrow. Food has arrived and my washing machine is about to explode. So if you can hear this like crazy buzzing in the background, that's what it is. It's just my washing machine. I'm trying to get all of my washing done before I go back to Brighton tomorrow. But also because I'm leaving, I haven't bought any new like fresh food because I just, I know it's gonna go off. I'm not gonna be using it. And also this time of the year, I seem to just be eating out all the time because there's so much going on. So yeah, I've just ordered some food from the pharmacy, of course, my absolute fave. And I'm just like so excited that they deliver. It's like the best thing that's ever happened. Um, so I'll show you what I've ordered. This is their macro bowl. So it comes with quinoa, some sweet potato, some steamed greens, some avocado, some like CBD stuff. <laughs> And then also I got this smoothie and this is like a pineapple and strawberry smoothie I think. I can't actually remember but it tastes really really good. I've just finished up editing and now I am going to go to the post office, pick up those parcels that I said that I need to get. And then I'm going to head to Gleam I think because I need to chat to Brona, my manager, about a few things. And also I think I've got some things that I need to pick up from there and then I'm gonna head to Selfridges. Oh my God, today has just been a mad rush. I feel like I've got a million and one things to do today and I don't know how I'm gonna get everything done. Um, went to the post office, picked everything up. I have wrapped my manager's presents. So let me just show you quickly. This one's for Amy, this one's for Brona. So now I'm going to head to the Gleam office, give that to them, although Amy's not there, so I'm gonna have to leave it on her desk and have a quick catch up with Brona and then I'm hoping I'm gonna have enough time to go to Selfridges. I'm not sure how it's gonna work though because Brona said there's stuff for me to pick up from the office, so I don't really want to have to take that round shopping. So Selfridges might have to be a job for tomorrow. Um, I'm just waiting for a courier to drop off something from Matthew Williamson. My friend Rosanna, who's the business director there, just texts me like, are you in? We've got a Christmas present to deliver to you. So luckily I am in, so I'm just waiting for that. And I just had a ring on the doorbell. And if you guys know, I think I said in this vlog earlier that I'm having a car delivered tomorrow. It was actually today and I had no idea. I must have got the day wrong or must have been changed and I didn't know, I don't know. Um, so the guy was like, hey, I'm here to deliver your Land Rover. I was like, what? Yes, oh my God, <laughs> I was so excited. So I've just gone down to get it and I had to drive it around the corner and oh my God, it's gorgeous. I love it so much. Um, so I'm gonna quickly, when I get the delivery from Matthew Williamson, I'm gonna show you the car. I can't drive it though around here. There's no point like driving to, uh, to like Soho and everything. It's just so much quicker to get the tube and stuff. And there's nowhere to park. Actually, I think I'm gonna get a car, but an Uber, and, cause yeah, there's just nowhere to park. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the Land Rover and then I'm off to Gleam. So this is my car. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Look at this and it's convertible. <gasps> I'm so excited. From what I just drove of it really quickly, look, that's me. <laughs> it was so amazing to drive. I can't wait to drive home tomorrow for Christmas. Just arrived at Gleam. Look at my hair, it's so embarrassing. I look awful. <laughs> Oh, fluffy hair is not good. Here we go. I've got to do this one-handed. Oh. There's everyone. I need to ring, wait, where's the doorbell? Oh, there. <laughs> ring the doorbell. Right, I'm in the mail room. This is where my box is. My sticker always comes off. Hey! <laughs> All right, yeah, then no worries. I can't believe there's so much stuff in here already. Oh my gosh, it's great. But I literally picked it up, like, how long ago was it? Like two, three days ago. Um, I'm not sure, oh, did I just drop something? Aw, letter. 
I might get this out and we can go through this. This is all of my stuff. This is the snow globe from Paris. Do you remember it? But um, I couldn't fit it in my suitcase after all of that closing it. I don't think I ever actually mentioned it. I don't think I filmed it. My After all of that closing my suitcase, when we got the taxi to the Eurostar, my case fell out the car and the zip broke. So this came like bouncing out my glass snow globe and really kindly one of the other girls put it in their suitcase and they've just um, sent it to me. So I'm so happy to have that back. There's some really nice little bits. I adore this handbag by Rebecca Minkoff. Such nice color. Zoella Beauty. This is such a nice hamper. Don't know what this is, have to open that. More Zoella Beauty stuff, some things from OPI. What have we got over here? Sweaty Betty. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh look, another bauble. Oh, that's so cute. Bauble, yeah. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is like the actual um, eye mask from Breakfast at Tiffany's. You know when Audrey Hepburn wakes up? She's got that on. That's so cool. Oh my god, it's actually the same one. That is amazing. Just on my way to Selfridges. Such a beautiful walk. Kind of gone the back streets to avoid the crowds. Here I am, Oxford Circus, and it is so busy. I'm currently just fantasizing over diamonds from Chanel. Look at that necklace. I'm like a magpie drawn to it. Finally back home. I'm just having a bowl of granola because I'm so hungry and like I said earlier I just have no food here and um, So it's basically granola. That's all I have and I've ordered more food. I hate ordering so much food I feel like the last few days. I just haven't been cooking. Well, I haven't I've been away this week has just been well last week has been absolutely mental so I really miss cooking a lot but I think when I go home I'm hopefully gonna have all the time in the world and I can just cook loads of food, cook for the family. Um, so that, I'm really looking forward to that. Will be really nice. I thought I would open this little thing from Matthew Williamson. I left all of the other stuff uh, from Gleam in my PO box. I kind of like opened it obviously, but then I've left it there and I'm gonna organize a courier to bring it over to my flat tomorrow just because um, I would have had to have come straight home and I had to get some bits and bobs from Selfridges and I did actually manage to get my stepdad a present and what else did I buy? Oh and also my uncle. Um, I need to get my other uncle a present and my cousins but other than that I'm pretty much done but I'm going to leave the rest to do in Brighton because fingers crossed Brighton isn't going to be anywhere near as crazy and manic as Selfridges. I just wanted to scream in there. <laughs> Um, let's open this. There's two little things. We've got this and this. Oh, I love the bags even. Oh, their cards are beautiful. I bet this is going to be one of Matthew's cards. Yeah. How gorgeous is that? Oh, this is from Rosanna, my friend. So happy we met 12 months ago. What a year we've had. That's so sweet. Gosh, I can't even believe that's been 12 months since I met Rosanna. Oh my gosh, she is just adorable. Oh wow, look. 
as a unicorn. And it's like a little cookie. Oh, bless her. Rosanna loves unicorns. Literally obsessed. It's <laughs> so sweet. That is amazing. <gasps> oh. This looks like it could be a bikini. I did not know Matthew was designing bikinis. <gasps> that is amazing. Look at those colours. <gasps> that is stunning. Oh wow, that's such a nice surprise. I had no idea he was doing this. Oh, thank you so much, Rosanna. I know you watch my videos. <laughs> so sweet this christmas i feel like has already been the best christmas ever like my whole life and it hasn't even been real christmas yet <laughs> just the whole build up has just been amazing i feel like people are really spoiling me i need to spoil people too <laughs> If you guys saw the video that I did with Zoe and Tanya when we opened presents, you will be very aware of this dress and gown and I am so happy to be wearing it. It's honestly the coziest thing I think I've ever, ever had on, ever. It's so nice and cozy and warm. I love it. Um, I have basically packed, <laughs> do you wanna see my case? Let's just say it's probably 10 times more full than my little one in Paris that I struggled to close so I'm dreading tomorrow closing this thing. Yep, this is the situation we have right now. I mean how is this gonna close? <laughs> you can even see my skipping rope! <laughs> I don't have a gym membership so I thought I'll take a skipping rope and I'll just skip every morning see how well that goes. <laughs> I'll probably just stick to doing my home workouts like I normally do. Um, so yeah, I'm basically packed. I've got that suitcase and I've got another one in here. One sec. I've got this one full of presents, that one full of presents, those two sacks are full of Christmas presents for charity. I'm also going to pack that one with filming equipment. And all of that needs to fit in to a, a Land Rover, but it's the Evoque. So it's not gonna be the easiest thing. <laughs> two massive suitcases, two sacks, and a small suitcase. And my mum. <laughs> how, how is all of that gonna get in the car? Tomorrow could be interesting. I might have to rethink what I need to take. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been up to tonight. It's probably about 1am now. Oh no, half 12. And I need to get some sleep because I'm up quite early. I'm gonna go to the gym. I've got an appointment at 10. Then I'm meeting my friend Venetia for breakfast. I don't actually know where we're going. I need to find out. And um, then my mum's coming up. So that's tomorrow. I hope you have enjoyed watching this vlog today. Let me know what you think and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Totally didn't even address this floppy mess on my head. Ah.